But a lot of physicality early on, and the referees did not make a call yet, and a lot of bumping and grinding when the ball's on the floor. So keep an eye on that, see if the players play up to the referee. Look at that. Picking the pocket, Costas Papa Nicolau is off to the races. Mike James hustling back, and his hustle reward. So Papa Nicolau inside to the Zenkov, reverse pivot, passes out of the double team. Papa Nicolau for three, and oh. he strings it. Yeah, we talked about the big man wanting to come out and play. There's no doubt that he wants to come out and play here tonight. For Olympia, of course, can they build on it once again, having had AS Monaco go down the floor and not get a look at the bucket? What an offload! And the foul finishing through the contact on the inside is Costas Papa Nicola with the feed out of the low post. Delightful vision. And how about that for a cut, catch, and completion on the inside by Costas Papa Nicola? You know, Ron, I talked about the fact earlier they were playing a lot of face to face defense. So you want to talk about adjustments that are made at halftime? So John Brown climbing beneath the jersey of the newly crowned MVP, Sasha Vizenko. Corner three-pointer from Costas. Woo! Papa Nicolau is buried, and it's a double-digit run. So Walker orchestrating the half-court offense. Oh, what an intricate pass on the inside. Count the basket. Costas, Papa Nicolau. And he'll go to the free-throw line looking to add one more. This this is Olympiago's basketball, right? Olympiago's set up the, the that trap in defense, the switch in defense. So Slukas using screen, a screen from Joel Bolomboy, oh. cutting baseline and running a layup drill. Is Costas Papa Nicolau? Looking at right there. <laughs> I, 